Well, follow up tonight on the end of the Birmingham Mercedes Marathon. We first brought you this story on Monday night. Yeah, the founder says the last race in Birmingham will be in February. And tonight we're hearing from one of the biggest beneficiaries of that marathon and of your giving. Brittany Dion joins us. Brittany, you spoke to the leadership at the Bell Center about what losing the money from the marathon will mean for the work that they do. That's right, Jonathan, Catherine, the Mercedes Marathon raised more than $3 million over the years for the Bell Center. Tonight, this group dedicated to pouring, enriching the lives of children with special needs will have to make up the loss in funding. Our mission is to maximize the potential of infants and toddlers up to three years of age who are at risk for developmental delay. With a staff of 16 therapists and special education teachers, program directors and administrators, the work being done at the Bell Center in Homewood, invaluable to the families they serve. So the donations are absolutely helpful for our cause. We actually work on a budget of about $1.6 million every year. Jeannie Colclitt, executive director of the Bell Center, says they require fundraising to operate. One of their largest fundraisers will soon end. The Mercedes Marathon and our program called Bell Runners, where we have people that run or walk any of the events of the weekend in honor of a Bell Center child and fundraise um, in that child's name, that has been one of our biggest events. The Birmingham Mercedes Marathon announced Monday the upcoming race in Birmingham would be the last. Since its creation two decades ago, the event has raised more than $3 million for the center. I just want to say how grateful we have been. Booklet moving forward with gratitude as the center embraces other fundraising opportunities, hoping the community will continue its support. Our junior board has a golf tournament every year, Birdies for the Bell Center. We have a cornhole tournament coming up in April that is the Cornhole Classic. And we have our event every August, the, the Tailgate Challenge, which is a lot of fun. Now, Colquitt says the community donating financially certainly helps. They also have volunteers who she says gives of their time, and they're always looking for people to step up and help in this effort. She says she hopes more people get involved with Mercedes Marathon this year and, of course, finish the race strong. If you'd like to get involved with either of these efforts, go ahead and head over to the WBRC's C app. We have details on how to do so. Live tonight from downtown Birmingham, Brittany Dion, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.